Hey, here's Joe again and welcome back to Ghost of a Tale where we want to report to Silas that we found his stuff. But I'm 100% certain that the big bird took some of it. Let's find out. What is it? Silas, I have uh, the treasure here. Where's the chest? It broke open. I found this inside. All right. Silas unties the neck of the bag and pulls from it a slim silver cylinder, intricately decorated and seared at both ends. What's this? Perhaps it's some kind of puzzle. Yeah, that uh, sounds like these Egyptian uh, puzzle lock things with a pap papyrus inside, uh, which is... Uh, if you smash it, a little glass vial will break with uh, acid inside and will dissolve the thing. Something like that. Perhaps some kind of puzzle. Could it be a prayer skull? Can you open it? Seems like it should open here at the end, but no, it won't budge. This was everything from the chest. Something missing? Aye, something's missing. I was expecting to find a silver ring like this. He pulls a silver band from his pouch, not much bigger than your paw. In the brazier's light, you notice fragments of an inscription engraved across the band's surface. Are you sure it was the right chest? It was the only chest there. Good mouse, there was once another. My lady Dunlane, please, I must find it. Pray meet me anon in the watchtower's belfry, and I will tell you all that I can. Mouse, Tylo. The ring. There's still a chance I can find it. I, why don't you go and do that? Uh, where's the belfry? Turn around and look up. You're standing below it. Have you had any luck opening the silver scroll tube? No yet. It truly is a puzzle. Yeah, it will be a puzzle. And we level it up. Assume that's the belfry and not this. Assume belfry is the highest tower, usually. Yeah, you're here. Who goes there? Jarlan? A true hero of red folklore, Jarlan was general to Rodgar, the first Red King, during the final battle of the War of the Green Flame. The general did not survive the war. Contemporary accounts of the Battle of Periclef describe Jarlan sacrificing his own life in order that the Green Flame be defeated. There are some who believe that uh, had Jarlan lived, he may have stood a chance of challenging Rodgar for the crown. It's Tylo, Tylo the Minstrel. Welcome, good mouse. If you have a question, please uh, pray ask it. Why is it that I alone can see you? Tis strange indeed. Here, perhaps my son's Ludka is the cause. You pull the figurine from your pouch and offer it to the shade. Would that I could only hold a good mouse, tis beautiful, but there's no magic there. Well, my grandmother was known to talk to dead relatives. Nah, you're but a simple mouse, tis not you, but something you carry. I fe always felt there was something curious about my loot. Your loot, aye, there's something there. It's the loot, okay. That's my master's loot that he gave to me. My lady, you said that there was a second chest from the altar? A chest? Aye. A mouse came and claimed it as it own. A mouse? Okay. Are you sure you're not thinking of me? Am I? Perhaps nay. He was older. A strong mouse. A strong mouse? And how many centuries have passed since then, I wonder? Centuries? Nay, this was mere weeks ago. And this mouse? He took the chest? He took many things, but he did not get far. I saw where he fell. Fay, you mean this mouse, he died? Aye, aye, but where? I do not recall my memories are islands in fog. My strongest memory is a memory of a feeling of love. Aye, a love for my true love. He is the last thing I, cr I truly remember, or save for his name. His name I would any give anything to remember. Good mouse, will you find it for me? With my love's name to guide me through this fog, perhaps I can guide you in return. What do you remember of him? He was a warrior of sorts. Yes, a warrior, but not by choice. Come, Mouse, look there, towards Valia and the Great Clarion. 
the collective name for a ring of massive ancient structures that stand in ruin at the southeastern shore of Lake Veia. Most no lie submerged beneath the waters of the lake or beached upon its shore, their wooden ribs half buried in silt like the bones of some extinct leviathan. Of three there remains almost no trace, save for the timber pilings they once stood upon. That's the far tower we're talking about, I think. Though stripped of its copper skin by scavengers, the clarion high above the shores of Dunlin Heights is nevertheless amongst the most well preserved. The clarions derive their name from their unique horn-like design, but their true purpose is a mystery to the new age, long since forgotten by all but the magpies. Somewhere along the trees stands an obelisk in memory of my love. I've spent centuries walking that glade searching for him, but alas, the clarion, find the obelisk that bears its, its image and you will find uh, my true love's name. I'm sure of it. Tell me, what was the purpose of the great clarion? It was a weapon in the war of the green flame. No one remembers where the green flame appeared first, a force without conscience or th thought. It killed and consumed all those standing in its path. When the world was teetering on the edge of the uh, bright abyss, it almost caused all life to end. Some see the green flame as a creation myth, others as a metaphor for greed and power. The truth is that the Red's influence over Pangaea can be traced all the way back to the legendary Battle of Periclef. King Rodgar I, Jarlan, Duenlan, those mighty Red heroes may have died centuries ago, yet all still remember what that, that their sacrifice was necessary to finally destroy the green flame. What was the green flame? Tis the absence of thought, of thought, of reason, an all-devouring force. Those who succumb to it are doomed to join its ranks. But where did it come from? Some believe it a divine power sent to test us. But who can say? Perhaps it was always among us. What do you remember of the Battle of Periclef? Impressions, the cries, and the pain and the wind on the, of the pain, uh, on the plain. The sheer cliff walls and Jalen and Nikto above, and that sound, the dirge, unending. We had Jalen. I want to read about Nikto. But what news have you, have you of the war? The battle was won. The green flame was defeated. Defeated? Yet I sense it still. Forgive me, Lady Dunnan. I must go. I shall wait for you there on the steps of the far tower. Yeah, it's the far tower. You can believe me if I'm saying that. Okay, so we're going to the far tower and interact with those obelisks that had inscri inscriptions on them. There were multiple of those. Uh, can I talk to that about uh, about that with Silas? Mm, nope. Then let's go with this. I want to go to the commander and I want to search for the guard that I saved. Uh, downstairs. He must have used the elevator, so he must be up here somewhere. So I'll search for him. I'll skip you. I heard what happened down in the catacombs. The squad leader told me you saved his life. He's a friend of mine. I won't forget it. Okay, we get 50 from one. Maybe that's all. But I'll try to search the squad leader himself. Oh. Wanted to take those candles. Whatever. As it's now the morning, I want to talk to the commander. About the catacomb situation. Scar, what the devil happened? Sir? The catacombs go. What else would you think I mean? You weren't assigned to the squad private. What were you doing there? The signal guard, sir. He asked me to take his place. I see. I shall have words with the signal master workstaff. The squad leader is in the infirmary. By all accounts, it was you that saved his life. Bravo, indeed. We don't yet know what's become of the others. I'll not rest until they're found. Uh... 
Nothing else. This is not the infirmary, so I don't know where to find him. I assume I can't. I just assume I can't. So only thing to go for is uh, the far tower. And we are arriving at the far tower. Where I assume I'll meet her up the stairs here. Yep. Yeah. You got anything to tell? Mr. Red? Just standing roughly around them and mashing A a lot until it finally works to speak to them. Ah. Sometimes it just won't. No, nothing has respawned. What say you, good mouse? If you have a question, pray ask it. My lady, I think... Uh, I think I have the ni name you bid me find. A name? Aye, hidden in the forest. A name. Aye, the name of my love. Then pray speak it. Let me think for a moment. I've only time. Forgive me, I should go and look again. Uh, yeah, but... I need clues. A warrior. She remembers a warrior. A male warrior. Great. Because... I mean, I can't... I don't know more about that and I can't like put that from here like this here. I don't know. Okay, let's find the names again. The problem is maybe I bug the quest by searching. Well, she fought youth as a girl. She's, she said he and warrior. That's all she said. And also we have no place to relook that up because she won't talk about it again. No creature braver nor, no creature braver nor more hum, humble. Kenlon. It didn't say anything about the weapon he used. Or something like that, because one of them had had a sword associated to him. That's what I would call a warrior. He lies well, his faithful bow at his side. Uh, he's not a warrior, he's a ranger. And the last one. Hythe, a poet at heart, a warrior by circumstance, spared the torment of the emirate fire by his love's merciful blade. Hythe. So yeah, that's also why we fo uh, found both of their ruins. Okay, makes sense that it's Hythe. A poet by heart, a warrior by chance, yeah. Door still doesn't open. You have returned as you promised, but I sense you come in search of answers. I have the name you bid me find. Perhaps this time I haven't even tried. Hythe. Hythe, you're certain? Aye, I'm sure of it. Hythe, aye, Hythe. This place was named for both of us. What do you remember of him? I remember the joy of our love and the pain of his death. How did you meet him? We were both of us born within the walls of Castle Dol, within a year of each other. His father was, was Chamberlain, mine the steward. And oh, we fought. We were great rivals, the two of us. After father passed away, my family left the castle. We did not meet again until many years had passed during the War of the Green Flame. Who was he? He was the architect of the Ring of Great Clarions. I was assigned to be his personal guard. In time, we grew close.
So the so Hyath was an architect, an architect, a sculptor, an inventor, a musician, and a warrior. He was a great mind, and my love. We were to be wet in Keem once the war was ended, but for us it never came. So these were actually built by persons? By creatures? Aye, by the shipbuilders of Belladon. The Badgers of Belladon are the great seafaring culture of the northern seas. Records of their voyages date back almost 5000 years and their myths even further. The oldest tales of Belladon's discovery by the first of the Badgers who drifted down from the heavens on the trunk of a foreign tree. Yet their exploration is driven not by the desire to conquer, but by their natural curiosity, their appetite and an instinct for foraging. Belladon is densely forested, and the Badgers are renowned for their skill in carpentry. The syllabub tree, which grows in great numbers along the coast of Belladon, possesses a natural resistance to the corrosive powers of sea waters, and ships built from their timber are in high demand. Indeed, many of the Red Boar's finest vessels began their lives in the forests and shipyards of Belladon before being hauled some 800 miles across the northern Redlands to languish in the erosive waters of Lake Valia. Shipbuilders? I always imagined they were left there by giants. Not giants, badgers. Though they are, uh, by their deeds, the best of them seemed like giants. The smallest among us are capable of greatness when the need is great. My lady, forgive me, but the thief, do you remember now where he is? Aye, at the gateway to the northern slope. The gateway to the northern slopes, where's that? East of here, through the glade, stands a stone bridge. At the bridge's end there is a door. Beyond that door, to, to the north, stands a gateway. Meet me there anon. Door doesn't open. Okay. To the east of here? I don't even have a map. I can't say where east is, and I gave that 40 compass away to the treacherous thieves. I assume we have to go through the door that we weren't allowed to go through before because the word didn't reach the guard that we found the body. Here? Welcome, good mouse. If you have a question, pray ask it. Where's the thief? I don't see him. The thief? The mouse is here beneath these rocks. How did this happen? Misfortune and gravity. Did he suffer? Well, he is squashed, good mouse, under a pile of rocks. I would think to know. Yeah, that's technically that's to the east of there over a bridge. I just thought of to the east of Dunlane Heights. <laughs> then he took the treasure to his grave. Oh, nothing is ever truly lost. Time will make this stone a pebble. Time. Or a cask of brisons. Brisons is a naturally occurring oil-like substance that explodes when contained and shaken, dropped or subjected to heat. Nitroglycerine. Okay. Too volatile to be deployed on the modern battlefield, Brisons is prim prim primarily used for quarrying and stone masonry and commonly stored in glazed earthenware casks. Though great care must be taken when transporting or working with prisons to keep it as steady as possible, its behavior is predictable. Nevertheless, jars of prisons are known colloquially as stonemason's coffins, being as they are the number one cause of death in the profession. How am I going to get my paws on prisons? At the foot of the stairway is the old armor, you may find what you seek there. I'm grateful for your help, my lady. Is there anything I can do for you in return? I have no right to ask this of you, good mouse. But will you tend the graves of my comrades? So many of them lie buried in these woods. Please light a candle in their name so that they are remembered. Pray, take this. An iron key. At the foot of Jove's obelisk sits a chest. Inside are instructions that will guide you in this task. Is there nothing more you need? 
You have done so much for me and yet I have one more request. My mortal remains and hives lie strewn about this place. Will you gather them and return them to my tomb? I wish to rest now beside my true love. I do as you ask, I promise. You have my thanks, good mouse. I will give you something precious in return. Until then I must remain shade. What key did we get, just get? It said we got a key, yeah. No, now at the start be it. It's for Joe's all the list. Okay, not the catacombs key. My, I was uh, pretty uh, interested when I saw a key appear all of a sudden because she could have a catacombs key. I mean, for all I know, it's just a shortcut back, so we get the key on the other side of that or something like that. But okay. The Far Tower map and honor the dead. Yeah, there's not much to be seen here. So honor the dead. Read. Too many fell here in the Clarion's defense. The names of all but nine forever lost to memory, death and time. By those nine names may the sacrifices of all be known and let these candles burn eternal in their stead. And should some ill wind snuff them out, may it be upon the conscience of all good creatures to th see these candles lit once more in the solemn order that our nine heroes fell. Joth fell first here at the towers uh, at the forest's gate. Then did Owl the archer, looking north towards his home. Hythe was taken next before Callan, southwest of the Clarion fell. So, was somebody was lost on the northern slopes. Beneath the bridge in the shade of her beloved oak tree. Someone fell in sight of Valia's plain and the light of the setting sun. The two sisters fought and died together, went first beneath the arches, and just below her went alone. Someone, person went alone, the last before the clarion's call. Uh, we only have. Isn't this Joth? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. we can burn this. But we only have the things for the first four. We only have access to the first four. Okay. So that we'll have to wait till later. Um, which means next thing is to get the prisons for that. I assume the game remembers that we read about, uh, not completed. Clear the rubble. Yeah. Uh, I assume uh, the game will just remember that we want to talk to uh friend rollo about that uh, let's take it this way i'm skipping you to rollo i need to find a few things can you help me roses white mushrooms key to the armory i need i'm collecting a set of urns okay interesting the guards bees next nest. Okay, I need a key for the prison store. Well, no, there's only one key and I have it. What would you need with prisons? I needed to clear the rubble from the armory stairwell. Been meaning to get around to that. I suppose it wouldn't hurt for you to take a look at it. You've worked with prisons before, I suppose. Me? Some, but I'll take any advice you can give. Listen, Brisons is volatile, but if you're careful, you can anticipate how it's going to behave. Shake it or hit the cask hard enough and it will go up. The stuff we have stored here is old. I'd rather not use it if it was up to me. Somebody's helping you move it, I suppose. I, of course. Good. If it's not kept steady, it will go up. Here. For the Brisons store. Leave it in the lock. I'll pick it up later. I'm trusting you, Mouse. 
Don't let me go. And don't blow up the keep. Alright then, was there anything more? Nope. The other stuff I'm kind of find by myself. Maybe not the roses, because it's like half an eternity since we found one. Okay, then let's go to the prison store. Other courtyard, lower door. Hopefully. Like the roses here are, are so hard to, uh, so easy to miss. That way around. Okay, this door. Prisons. It doesn't go down again. The exploding meter, meter doesn't go down again. Does it go up by itself is the question. And can this guard stop blocking my camera is the other question. I assume, I'd assume not, but we'll try. We'll try. Yeah. Neither. Flat surface to put it down. Here. 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 Wow, that almost killed me. We were supposed to use sticks, but I actually want to try it from a distance, like from here. Like a sensible person. Please. And we cleared the rubble. Now we're supposed to retrieve the ring. Nobody cared. Actually, nobody freaking cared. But we got a new map to explore. Can you please... I see the ornate chest. We get the silver ring. We have to return that to Silas. I see you. Honey and a lava queen. A sponge ball mushroom. There's a lot to explore here, I suppose. Just wanna go for all the mushrooms I can. And the gold nugget that I almost missed. Freaking hell, these gold nuggets. I'm always finding them by turning around and not expecting any more items. Do I wanna go down the lot? I see the rose. I saw the rose. I fell past the rose. Freaking hell, let me climb up again. Aha! It's been a long time since we found one of those. Why is it marked under miscellaneous? Should be marked under books. I I won't get marked. Yeah, just a new page. Mera's brothers came of age and left to seek their fortune in the mines. Her father passed away not long after, but there was little time to mourn. While Mera nursed Bryn, you worked the land alone, and your lute lay untuned and unplayed in the attic. Yet still some nights you dreamed of music and the freedom of the open road. Uh. Let's move down here. Would actually be better to do this at night to be able to to see everything. 
to, to get everything, like the, the night spawns. More holy berries. Why would I need more holy berries than we need for the quest? We needed three. And maybe we can use them to poison. There are more nests than needed, interestingly. Honey. No mushroom, sponge ball mushroom. Feel. I'll have to reread them. I'll, I'll as soon as I have found all nine, I think the the poem said. Um, uh, as I, as soon as I found all nine, we have five now. I'll definitely go around and read them all uh, before the beginning of an episode, and then start an episode with doing that quest, so that you don't have to endure me running around and rereading all the stuff. Just doing the execution. Noggin top. I don't believe you that there's nothing in this corner. I'm sorry game, but I no game designers. They don't leave empty nooks and crannies. I mean, that this had a lot of mushrooms and it can have mushrooms at night. Okay, uh, we came from there. Still a two-way split. Down has a safe point. Let's go up. This will be a shortcut, I assume. Nothing here. Apparently. Cave. Where does cave lead? There's so many places to go to here. And I choose the cave that leads away from the place. I don't even have a map. No items. Are we going down to the catacombs? Yeah, we are. Here's the way the freaking catacomb key goes to. It goes to where we find the catacomb key and the catacomb door. This is the harbor, upper door of the uh, upper place of the harbor. That's how we get into the harbor. Why? Okay, I want to do the harbor at some other time. At that time, you won't have to endure me running down here again. I'll just skip you then. <clears throat> For now, I want to explore the other place. Whose which? name I forgot it will turn up on the screen in a second when I go up again northern slopes is the place we wanted to explore okay I see shrine up there can we normally get to that shrine Cat's tooth, holly berries, cat's tooth, cat's tooth. Yeah, I don't trust you, Red Mist. Should have realized that by now. Freaking a uh, log ahead. That's one of the rare things. Log ahead. This is Hereth. Incorruptible. We had everything here. Other side had the barrel save point. Red 
great. I assume that's empty, yeah. And that doesn't help at all because it's not night yet, it's just freaking dark by itself. Silderat, a wit as sharp as a sword. So oh, basically Silas. Empty barrel. A gold nugget. I think I think we had six ear cap, noggin top, ear cap. Right in the barrel. To safe. Go out again. This is where we can ex uh, equip this. Okay. The other thing near to the harbor where does this lead? This is an elevator. And this is the shore. This is where we're supposed to meet up with Rolo in the night. Um, yeah, I'm using all my candles now, which is not good. Is it night enough now? 6 p.m. He will turn, uh, soon turn up here. Don't know whether I just chose the perfect time for him not to spawn here because I am here now. Because I don't know. He might spawn up here and when I'm exploring down there it's not good. What? He just spawned here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, Use my last quick save as the point where we start the next episode and we're going to begin the next episode by speaking to Rolo down here at the shores. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.